Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Gary Hibner here, a YouTube guitarist from South Africa. And in this video, let's talk about bass sixes, what they are and how you can use them. So let's get into what a bass six is. A bass six is a guitar with six strings that's tuned down a whole octave from E standard on a regular guitar. It has a longer scale, they're generally around about 30 inches, and the string spacing is the same as a guitar. So that's what differentiates it from a four string bass that's tuned into E standard. You've got sort of less spacing between the strings like a bass, so it feels like a regular guitar that you're playing, but it's an octave down. So instead of buying a seven string, an eight string, or a nine string to get really low and navigating all those extra strings, you can go for a bass six that feels like a regular guitar. You've got six strings, you can easily navigate it, but you can go really, really low with them. And I think these things are really the ultimate metal guitar if you want to go really low, but still have no clarity and have a lot of fun with an instrument. For example, these things can really, really chug. Add some jancy flavor with some pick scrapes and some bendy bendy notes. This one is in drop D, so a whole octave below drop D from a normal standard guitar. Or you can thaw it up with those bends and those atmospheric notes. Even do some sludgy doom riffs. And if you throw some thicker gauge strings on there, you can go really, really low with that scale length. For example, check out this riff over here where I've taken my Jazz Master down to B0. And these things are really, really addictive. I've got two bass sixes. I've got the Squire Jazzmaster Baritone. Even though it says it's a baritone, it's got a 30 inch scale length on the neck and you can tune as low as a bass six. That's maybe another thing to point out. Even though you've got your 30 inch scale and generally the bass sixes are at E, you can actually put lots of gauges on and tune them up. And the second one I've got is this Ibanez SRC6. So as you can see, this thing actually looks more like a bass. It's got bass tuners on, it's got a sort of bass body, but it's got six strings and the spacing is like a guitar. So for example, here's the spacing on a four string bass, as opposed to the spacing here on a six string bass six. And as you can see, this spacing is very similar to a normal guitar spacing. So it's still a bass six, but it sort of replicates a bass more and it actually sounds more like a bass. So that's the things to consider. Some bass sixes are more inclined to feel and sound like a bass, where others are more inclined to sound like a guitar. So getting back into different types of bass sixes, here is my Jazz Master. You can hear the tone where it sounds a lot brighter because of those Jazz Master pickups. And here is the Ibanez SRC6 with EMG passive pickups. And as you can hear, it's going to sound a lot more bassy in tone. And these things are really their own instrument. So they're very different from an extended range guitar where you've got those extra strings that you have to learn how to navigate. So it's quite easy to go from a normal guitar to a bass six. You've got your six strings and it's easy to navigate. Just some things that you'll have to get used to is that with the longer scale, you've got a longer reach to reach down further down the neck. And also you're gonna get used to some thicker gauge strings because you're gonna have thicker gauges to get down an octave lower below a guitar. 
But speaking of reach, different base sixes have been built differently. So for example, some of them have a longer reach to get to that first fret, where others they've pushed that bridge back so the reach actually feels a lot smaller. For example, if you compare this Jazzmaster to this Ibanez SRC6, you'll see that the bridge has been pushed back and the neck is sitting deeper into the body, so it actually feels like there's a shorter reach on here. And actually, it might suit some players. For example, if you've got shorter arms, you might want to play a guitar where the bridge has been pushed back and the reach doesn't feel as far. So that's some things just to think about with bass sixes. Some of them do sound different compared to each other, and some of them do have different feel and different reach. So just think about these things when you're looking for the bass six that you want to add into your collection. Now let's take a look what current bass six models are in production. But before getting into that, if you see a model that you really like, definitely grab it because these things really don't stick around. For example, the two bass six models that I've got have both been discontinued. And I'm sure you know all the hype about the Jazzmaster Baritone. These things really were hyped up when they got discontinued and they went for super, super high used rates. For example, at one point, the Jazzmaster was going for, I think, about $1,200. So that's way more than they even sold when they were brand new. So now let's take a look at the current production models. Obviously, you've got the thing that started it all off, which is the Fender Squire Bass VR. Here is a Squire version, but you've also got the Fender version. As you can see, it's got quite an interesting configuration. You've got this floating bridge and the single coils and an interesting toggle switch with the different types of pickup configurations that you can use. Then moving over over here, Harley Benton have their own versions. This is very similar to the Fender one. As you can see, it's got its three single coil pickups and quite a vintage look. And they've introduced a newer model, which looks pretty much more like the Jazzmaster Baritone. So over here, you've got P90 pickups and this sort of more blacked out look. Also, Sub-Zero have two models. This is the Rogue 6 Baritone, also an answer to the Squire Jazzmaster Baritone. It's got that offset shape where this one has a different type of bridge and humbucker pickups. And over here, you've got the Ibanez SRC6 MS, which is a multi-scale version of the discontinued SRC6. So this is a scale of 28.5 inches to 30 inches, and it has pretty much similar characteristics as the other one, just a more modern template with the multi-scale. Very interesting instrument with a very good reach and very good build quality. Also, another big favorite is the Gretsch Electromatic Jet Baritone. So even though it says Baritone, this is a 29.75 scale length, pretty much there where a base six is. And it's got some very good stock pickups as well. Dan Electro also have got some options. So this is the Dan Electro 56. It's got your lipstick style single coil pickups. Going on to the more sort of metal looking guitars, Solar have got their flame black burst mats. This is a 29 inch, but it's got an Evertune bridge and you pretty much can get away with an octave below on this guitar. So you can sort of fill out that basics territory. Also on the metal side of things, you've got the Schecter Hellraiser. This is their 30 inch model with active EMG pickups. Aria guitar have got a very well priced guitar as well. This is the JB Tone Baritone, which is also a 30 inch with an interesting pickup configuration. As you can see, it's got a humbucker, it's got a trim bridge, and it's got a single coil in the neck. So quite an interesting one, not a lot of reviews and users out there, but definitely something to look into. Eastwood have also got some very interesting eclectic shaped bass sixes. Here you've got one with some P90s. Then there's also the TB64 with a very vintage look. So looking at these base six models, a lot of them have big throwbacks to vintage looks where some of them have got your sort of more metal look like the Solar and the Schecter. So really a fun instrument to play. There is a bit of an extra learning curve with the extra reach and the thicker gauges. But once you get into it, it pretty much feels like a guitar, just a bigger guitar with six strings that you can easily navigate. So that's it for this video. I hope you have a much better understanding on what a base six is now and how you can use it in your metal productions. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Also, if you'd like to support me and this channel in other ways, I also have a Patreon account with different tiered levels and benefits. I'll leave a link in the description showing you those. Also, I've got a private Discord server if you want to geek out on all things baritones, bass sixes, high gain, and low tuning. I'll also leave a link to that in the description. Also, if you want to check out some of my music, I've got some music uploaded onto Bandcamp. You can check that out as well. That's it for this video. I'll check you in the next one.